बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड वी आर कंटिन्यू इन द टॉपिक पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट सो टुडे वी विल बी डीलिंग विथ आई प्रोटेक्शन सो हियर वी विल हैविंग बी लाइक सम क्वेश्चंस एंड देयर आंसर्स लाइक इन द फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स सो व्हाट इज आई प्रोटेक्शन आई प्रोटेक्शन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेफ्टी कंसर्न राइट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सो व्हाट वी हैव इज here in the blank choose canadian standard association csa canadian standard association csa approved glasses or goggles so don't put any other thing in canada it is mandatory that you have to have you have to wear csa approved glasses or goggles goggles right so this is very important right the second is never think or assume that your prescription glasses or sunglasses or contact lenses gives you adequate eye protection so if you are wearing a sunglass or your eye pres prescription glasses and you are thinking oh i don't need that uh, safety glasses or safety goggles that is not true so your eyes are more important far more important so this is a great safety concern so never think or assume that prescription glasses sun glasses or contact lens gives you adequate eye protection so fill in the blank is adequate or he can put the fill in the blank anywhere in this sentence right but you need to remember uh, the 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 requirement never assume right glasses uh, for example acceptable eye protection may be i don't i did not make the Uh, the the question out of it but it is important that safety glasses that include side shields safety glasses that include side shields goggles and face shields so these all three uh, type of things which you put on your um, face or eyes the, that gives you adequate protection so then we have um, after eye protection respiratory so um, respiration is very important uh, right um, uh, every process every um, uh, you know the parts of the bodies are important for a person for the human life so um, similarly as we talk about eyes we can say that respiratory system is also important if something is going into through our uh, respiration um, into our into our lungs that will be dangerous right and sometimes you are exposed to um chemicals toxic gases and airborne particles so here is the question as a gas technician so gas technician is a blank and you have to fill it up as a gas technician you may be exposed to chemicals toxic gases and airborne particles so this is how uh, you can come across right so you have to have according to your situation what you have to wear is either disposable particle mask which is the first thing or an approved respirator with cartridges can be used as per your situation so what are you facing with right what what uh, what is uh, your environment what where you are working right so depending on that if it is a dusty environment you will only uh, be using disposable particle mask but if you are in a certain situation uh, where um, you know toxic gases or chemicals are there then you have to wear a proper approved respirator with the cartridges so then install equipment around the job there so there are there are, these are the personal right now we are talking about group safety equipment so we did with the ppe head protection uh, you know uh, eye protection hand protection Uh, then we have respiratory uh, protection so all of these we did in few steps and i do not make like long video so you can just uh, do like 10 minute video or 12 minute video and then you have few questions and then you have few knowledge uh, to your uh, occupational skills right when you have some occupational skill you need to go to the site and then you work when you work you need to know these things that you should be safe and others should be safe so the other thing is group safety equipment what is that group safety equipment right all installed equipment around around the job are the group safety equipments 
right all installed uh, all installed equipment right what installed equipment it could be so you can say you can see in in your industry or in your workplace fire extinguishers ventilation equipments what you can see mm, exhaust system to remove the exhaust gases right these all kind of thing or vacuum system to remove dust from the machine so all these um, installed system are also the group safety equipment covers under group safety equipment because they also necessary in the in the in the job environment or work environment special ventilation or ventilating equipment to remove harmful dust or toxic paint or fume or body shop you have seen certain arrangements right so we have the spray kind of painting booths so that that spray cannot go and affect others right the person who is working in the booth is um, properly covered he has got mask he has got respiratory uh, you know the equipment so that he is not affected but if the the spray is going to outside so it has to be covered properly it has to be a proper booth so this kind of thing um, you must be remember that not only personal protective equipment is important the group safety equipment is also equally important. You have to see where the fire extinguishers are, where the um, exit signs are, where the vacuum system, how the um, fume being exhausted, right? All those things which are around you, uh, you should be knowing it and you should be uh, telling others that this is the right way of doing it. So another thing, another question which is asked, look before you leap is a slogan, right? Look before you leap. So you have to be aware of all the things in your workplace, which means that you should know hazardous location and type of hazard where you are working. Not only the location, but also the type of hazard. And according to type of hazard, you have to be prepared yourself. You have to see your personal protective equipment and you have to look around for the group safety equipment. So not only you have to know the type of the hazard, but also you have to know the doors, passageways and emergency exit. Doors, passageway and emergency exit. So you need to know these things right, before you go into the workplace to do some work. So this is how we describe it. And then, and the slogan we understand now today is look before you leap means you should, aware, you should be aware of what is your workplace. What are the hazardous location? What are you up to uh, in, in types of the hazard? And also the doors, passageways and emergency exit. So next what I have given you is if the access way is block, block access way can slow down to prevent escape, right? In case of fire. So if there is something which is, there is a passageway, but that is blocked. And in case of fire, people need to run out from that passageway, which is exit. And that is blocked. So that will be another thing which you need to remember that your fire uh, fire exits should be clean and clear to escape in case of fire. Right. So you have to look around this thing also. You have to look around where your automatic sp sprinkle system is. Where is your heat detectors? Where is your smoke alarm? Is alarm is working. Although these all uh, things will be taken by the um, by the um, committee which is involved in that uh, in that particular testing and all those drills but you should be aware of few things so that you can question or, or you can act like the way it has to be in in case of fire or in case of emergency so next what i put it here as a question is good site safety practice comes down to two factors Good site safety practice. What is what is good site? Like my site is very safe. I have zero accident. So why? Because I take care of two things. Cleanliness and common sense. What, is, what are these two things? Cleanliness and common sense. What does it mean? It means that our work area should be clean. Keep work areas clean. So that is everywhere. If you clean, clean the spill. Right, clean the waste when you go like uh, off your shift, you have to clean your surroundings, right? So, you have to do everything which you are looking at. So, this is just the cleanliness and common sense. 
So if there is a spill, you should clean immediately, right? So then there are proper storage of cylinder, how to keep. Housekeeping is also one of the things. So good housekeeping on the site will also reduce the accidents. So that means we have, um, we have to cover not only the personal safety equipment, but also we have to cover the group safety equipment. Uh, hope you like the video. If you like it, thumbs up and um, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.